Hello everyone, welcome to today's Bible at the Beach video where we are continuing to read through the book of Romans together, picking up where we left off last time in Romans chapter 8, verse 17, uh, the second half of verse 17 actually, um, where after talking about how God actually adopts believers in Christ into his family, and he gives us the full rights that come with that, Paul says, but, here's the thing, if we are to share Jesus' glory, we must also share his suffering. Yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory he will reveal to us later. In other words, even if you added up every way that we do suffer as followers of Jesus in this reality, and like you, you put that suffering all together into a big pile of suffering, that doesn't even compare in worth or value to when Jesus will return and raise us in glory. Verse 19, for all creation is waiting eagerly for that future day when God will reveal who his children really are. Against its will, all creation was subjected to God's curse. But with eager hope, the creation looks forward to the day when it will join God's children in glorious freedom from death and decay. Basically, Paul's using poetic language there to talk again about that idea of living in two realities that we've talked about before. But he uses nature to talk about it in this case, where, you know, creation was cursed because of human sin back in Genesis 3. But there's also hope. Verse 22, for we know that all creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. And we believers also groan even though we have the Holy Spirit within us as a foretaste of future glory. For we long for our bodies to be released from sin and suffering. We too wait with eager hope for the day when God will give us our full rights as his adopted children, including the new bodies he has promised us. We were given this hope when we were saved. If we already have something, we don't need to hope for it. But if we look forward to something we don't yet have, we must wait patiently and confidently. Basically, God gives us hope, right? We have a confident hope as followers of Jesus in the future we'll have with him when we'll experience the fullness of what it means to be adopted by him. So we hang in there with Jesus and stay faithful to him when we suffer or face opposition or things go wrong. We persevere through that stuff because we're focused ahead on what happens when Jesus returns. And that is where we'll plan to pick things up next time, God willing.